Hello friends, in this video we will explore bar plot and we will see different ways by which we can draw bar plot. Okay, so bar plot applies on categorical data. So for example, in this our example data set, we have three categorical variable like pathway, tissue and gene to disease ratio. So using bar plot, we can simply plot how many pathway are belongs to pathway 1, pathway 2, pathway 3, the, their count we can plot same way the distribution of tissue and distribution of GDR can be drawn using the bar plot. ggplot provides two important function one is underscore bar gom underscore con. So these two are slightly different the first one is the simply bar plot which simply counts uh, how many category are there for each of the different labels whereas column plot can be used to um, you know uh, plot any kind of uh, values on the y axis okay so just not just count any other values can be plot so we will see like the difference between bar plot and column plot okay so the first the command is simple and there are two aesthetics one can we can use one is x and color, color. so let's say here we want to draw like ggplot the first we is the data frame then here we have to say x equal to pathway we don't have to specify y because because y will be counted automatically by this so just the x is the which categorical variable we want so let's say we want to draw how many pathways are there so we say that x axis that means the, we say pathway and y will be automatically count so we do not need to specify y so x equal to pathway and here by default we are giving color equal to red means it will draw this border equal to red color it will draw and then once our aesthetic mapping only one we need x equal to pathway and then we can add the geometry geom underscore bar to draw the bar plot so let's do this first okay let's do this so this is our data frame okay so ggplot first argument is data frame then we say the aesthetic mapping and we need only one aesthetic mapping so let's say pathway and no need to put quote then simply add bar function so it will now see the bar plot will be drawn like this okay so now if you just want to change the border color equal to red so this will change the border of this thing and since there is a you know this rectangular thing is that we can use the fill fill parameter so instead of color we if you say this is fill with respect to red color sorry red means this will be filled with the red color okay so this way we can draw the bar plot and see you see now pathway 1 there are approximately 7 20 30 some pathways are there pathway 2 3 4 the y axis is the count and highest uh, number of genes are belonging to pathway number 4 and pathway 7 is the least number count so this way it will give us the count plot okay so generally that is done by the bar plot so let's say instead of that if we say gdr okay so now it will show the distribution of GDR and we say that no evidence category is the highest number while definitive is the least number of category okay so if we want to see how the tissue count is different so you just add this tissue as the categorical variable on the x-axis so now you will see the distribution and we can see the lung has the least one and the highest is the brain so this way you, we can pass any categorical column in our data uh, data frame on the x and it will simply draw the bar plot okay so this is one way to draw so now this as i said fill parameter we saw fill equal red will fill it so now we will let's do instead of fill in a single color we use fill for another variable so let's say the x axis is let's say with respect to tissue and fill is with respect to let's say path okay so now we are giving two categorical variable so one for x and second one is pathway so what will happen it will draw a stacked bar plot okay so means for every uh, you know uh, this uh, uh, tissue category how the pathway is you know changing for example there are roughly let's say uh, two means, uh, let's say 300 genes belonging to blood of which how the distribution of those like some are belonging to pathway 1 pathway 2 pathway 3 4 5 6 7 majority of them are pathway 4 similarly within brain brain has around roughly 1000 such uh, count genes are distributed and within that how the distribution is within the pathway so so this is generally called the stacked bar plot okay so you simply have to do two category x equal to tissue and fill equal to pathway so if you just reverse it let's say x equal to uh, say pathway and fill is with respect to 
tissue ok. So, now it will be just reverse x axis will be now pathway and here you will see uh, the tissue distribution. And the main interesting thing is like so based on the height you can now see for example, if you just look at the pink color you can see the distribution how it goes ok. So, that is a stacked bar plot way gives you a very elegant way uh, like how the you know distribution looks like. So, now you should just focus on this cyan color. So, you can see the you know uh, it is like changing like you, you the width is less. So, that way you stacking also we can compare we can just uh, look at single color across the different uh, you know column to see how the you know changing ok. So, that way stack bar plot is another way of visualization ok. Now, if we uh, let us say if we want to change uh, the orientation instead of looking like this if we want to look like flip it. So, there is a uh, one more layer is there uh, you can add coordinate flip ok. So, when the moment you do it, so now it will change it. So, basically this is useful when you have more such on this uh, instead of very difficult to plot on uh, let us say um, x axis you can simply flip it. So, that more number of you can accommodate it on the y axis. So, this may now stacked bar plot by uh, coordinate is flipped ok. So, what is next we have ok. So, instead of stacking bar plot or uh, if we want uh, let us say uh, like sidewise. So, we can say that you know position equal to you know position underscore dodge ok. So, what we did like this is so we are seeing instead of stacking you uh, put them side by side. So, now you can see there are pathway 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 pathways and within that and each bar will now uh, represent a tissue. So, this is like uh, bar plot or bar plot that way you can say like each section is one bar and within that you have uh, not stacking sideways we are plotting it. So, there are two way we can represent the bar plot the previous one was stacked bar plot and this one is like sideways uh, bar plot ok. So, both are meaningful. So, in this in such kind of plot you can just focus on one color and based on that how based on the height we can say like high low and high that kind of distribution we can see ok. Now, coming to the facet trap ok. So, again uh, for such kind of plot it is difficult to uh, you know clearly we cannot see, but what we can do here now we can use the facet trap concept what we had seen. So, here let us say we say facet trap and instead of that we say that since fill is with respect to tissue we say with respect to tissue. So, now what so now is is gotten very in, uh, useful another way of visualization. So, pathway is x axis is the pathway and now within uh, each tissue. So, we have splitted them with respect to tissue and within uh, each tissue how the pathway distribution looks like ok. Same way let us say uh, if you want to see within pathway, but here uh, let us say type GDR and here also GDR ok. So, now you see the uh, within each uh, you know split we have split with respect to GDR and within each split how the pathway distribution looks like ok. So, now if you make it even more complex so, so what we can do we say that x equal to path fill with respect to GDR, but facet trap is with respect to tissue ok. So, now you will see a very complex plot. So, basically what we will get? So, we have split with respect to the GDR ok. So, GDR has you know we have split them with respect to sorry sorry we have split them with respect to uh, the tissue. So, they have split and within that we are uh, drawing uh, within that there are 7 pathways like pathway 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and within each pathway the 5 category of GDR. So, you can see that in a single plot we are able to visualize 3 different uh, dimensions ok. And again if I remove this dodging, so you will get this same concept, but you will you will we will get in stacked bar plot ok. So, now we see that within each uh, tissue and how the pathway and the GDR is distributed ok. So, now you can see that uh, we can by using this x and fill and facet wrap we can at least play with 3 different uh, properties or 3 different uh, variables ok. So, yeah so we have seen the so far we have used uh, 
the geometric bar function so let's use another function geometric dot call okay so the difference between these two like bar plot simply uh, it will the y axis will be the count okay the means category what is the count but sometimes it may happen that uh, you have let's say uh, for every pathway you have this mean mutation values okay so basically what you did uh, for every pathway uh, you calculate the uh, how many mutations are there you take the average so you will get this kind of data structures okay like pathway 1 the mean mutation is 3031 pathway 2 this one pathway 3 like this and for every pathway you have this value so this is not a count this is an actual value so now in such case the y is not count instead of that y we are using some uh, the y value instead of that we are using uh, any random values okay so in that case we will be using column plot so where x axis will be the pathway and y axis will be this uh, value so let's say uh, we can use this you know deep layer package and simple this group by uh, with respect to pathway and do some you know summarize function to get this kind of data and once we have this we can use this now to draw the plot so here we pass this data frame now temp df and we say x equal to pathway and y x equal to main mutation so here since we even need x and y both we have to pass x and y both aesthetics for for bar plot we do not need y because it is the count but for column plot we need both x and y and finally we just add by geometric dot call okay so let's uh, you know create this uh, variable temp df first okay so so you now see the uh, temp df so we have this pathway and the mean mutation so now we simply so temp df is this thing so we now say ggplot the data from is temp df and now aesthetic we say x equal to pathway and y equal to mean mutation okay and say geometric dot underscore call so here we are giving the column plot again here also you can specify let us say fill equal to okay fill equal to let us say red color so that will be applied that way okay so we so we can see that the column plot is useful when you have some uh, actual values that you want to display and for bar plot it is the simple count okay so in summary what we did like uh, we have used jom, jom underscore bar okay to draw the bar plot we saw like stack bar plot we saw the, like coordinate flip we saw the different ways we can i mean horizontal dodging okay side by side bar plot and we saw the facet wrapping and then we saw the call gm call column plot okay so yeah so that's all about the bar plot and in the next video we will see histogram so thanks for watching thanks a lot we'll see you in the